Good evening everybody, it is time for our Wednesday Word of Encouragement once again. Well for those of you who are part of our Sunday gathering, you uh, were with me in the conundrum when I asked uh, some of the members where we get the scripture, we walk by faith and not by sight. Well eventually going from uh, Genesis to Revelation, we actually found it in 2 Corinthians 5 and um, I want to actually speak on that tonight as well. But the message, message is entitled tonight, Make It Your Aim. Make It Your Aim. Now I know I've got the hunters and the fishermen and uh, the Yixkei people and everybody having to make it their aim. Uh, some might say that uh, the husband's ears are open, even the wives make it your aim. I want to say to you, let's look at what we should make our aim. Now in 2 Corinthians 5 from verse 1, the Word of God says, For we know that if our earthly body, our house, this earthly tent is destroyed, we have a building with God. Can you say Amen on that? And a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. It's not just for now, it's eternal in the heavens. For in this we groan earnestly designed to be clothed with our habitation which is from heaven. If indeed, having been clothed, we shall not be found naked. For we who are in this tent groan, being burdened, not because we want to be unclothed, but rather, or further clothed, that mortality may be swallowed up by life. Man, when I read this scripture, this verse specifically, it says there, and, and not because we want to be unclothed, but further clothed, that mortality may be swallowed up by life. Man, the Apostle Paul is actually saying here, he's not saying, man, I just wish to die and I hope to get rid of this body that we are in. He's actually saying, listen, there's something further to be experienced. So the glory that's going to come will be even greater than that we're already experiencing. And then he goes on by saying, now he who has prepared us for this very thing is God, who has also given us the spirit as a guarantee. Man, the Holy Spirit in us is our guarantee and such a wonderful person to be with every single day. When we walk, when we talk, we talk with Him. He leads us, He guides us, He instructs us. And I'm so thankful for the Holy Spirit and what He does in our lives. And then it goes on in verse 6 and it says, So we are always confident, always confident, knowing that while we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. It says, for we walk by faith, not by sight. We are confident, yes, well pleased, rather to be absent from the body and rather to be present with the Lord. And then he goes to this profound statement that really just touches me so much. It says, therefore, we make it our aim, whether present or absent, to be well pleasing to him. Whether pre present or absent of the Lord, to be well pleasing to Him. Last week, Friday, um, Tian Janssen van Rensburg spoke about the fact that God is Creator and that uh, one of His attributes is that He has created creation and creation is carrying His glory, those who believe in Him, and that they should in everything bring glory to the, to the wonderful and only God that is in the universe. Our God, Jesus Christ, the Father and the Holy Spirit. And I want to say to you today that make it your aim. If you're not going to make it your aim, you're going to miss it. I'm a hunter and um, I have had the, the non-great experience of shooting at an animal and not aiming well. And um, yes, to find the animal dead later. But that was a nice experience. I want to tell you today, maybe you also aren't, maybe you also have had one of these experiences. I want to tell you, maybe you've made your aim at something and you didn't, you didn't get it. Well, I want to ask you this one thing. Make it your aim to not walk by sight, but walk by faith. And whatever you do in this body, this physical body, make it your aim. We being absent or present to the Lord. To do it to the glory and honor of His wonderful name. I leave you with this word of encouragement. I pray for you. I want to say to you that my heart is going out to so many of you. 
and even those who aren't watching, my heart is going out. I trust that you would stick close to God, stronger than glue. And may His Spirit lead you and guide you in everything you do. In Jesus' name, Amen.